The project of the day is cleaning out the closet. I'm feeling a little melancholy. This is my second to last day off. I took a whole bunch of time off to paint the bedroom. I cleaned out the bookshelves. Like I got a lot done. Uh, I fasted from the media. I have no idea what's going on in the world. I don't even care. I don't want to know. Um, I didn't check my emails. I'm sure that will come back to haunt me. But I mean, I told everybody I was taking this time off and that I would not be reachable. So if, they're, if they continue to call and email, that's on them. Also, my husband, if, any, if anything happens, still tell my husband because all my friends are my husband's friends too. So um, that's what happens when you're married for over 20 years. So at any rate, this is my second to the last day and I'm going to clean out my, my coat closet and I'll turn around the camera and show you why. The obvious reason for cleaning out a coat closet is because coat closets get cluttered and they need to be cleaned. But the driving force this time, my two nurse bags, they used to just kind of live wherever I could put them in my room. I've cleaned out my room. I don't want clutter anymore. So I have to clean out the coat closet. This is, and this is the coat closet. Ah, I feel like I should be cueing the psycho music. Um, so this is the coat closet. I'm not even sure what all is in here. I know there's stuff buried in the back. That pink thing at the bottom is actually a very large stuffed horse. And what we would use it for, the reason we kept it so long, is that when we would lay on the carpet in the TV room, it's really comfortable to rest your head and shoulders on. So the other problem, it's, you can't really tell because the sun is shining in the picture window here. But once the, once the sun is no longer shining, it is so dark. And I have, I have one of these little touch lamps. Yeah, it does nothing. So I think I'm probably gonna make a run to the Home Depot and get a few more touch lamps, or maybe I won't even go that far. Maybe I'll just go to Ace. So time to start cleaning. One of the advantages of this closet is it, it is very deep. You can put stuff in the back, like the things you don't need all the time, they can go way in the back there. Um, that's also the disadvantage because it becomes very easy to just stash a bunch of stuff. Ugh, the odds and ends that wind up at the bottom of the closet. I don't even know why we have this, this curtain thing. Uh, somebody's hat. We've got this, this is actually an iPad case with no iPad inside of it. Uh, hand sanitizer, well at least it's clean down there. But I wound up with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff like this, 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 this was all, all of this was in the closet. This is like, this is absurd. And then I had to move some stuff over to the dining room or it's actually the TV room it used to be a dining room a long time ago. Piles of clothes that I'm going to go through. Okay. The mirror is clean. The shelf is dusted. I got rid of the cobwebs. Yeah, luckily no spider fell on me. And swept the floor. And now it's time to move all this stuff back. Except guess what? All of the stuff is not moving back. I'm gonna get rid of some of it. This is a very useful piece. It used to have paper and crayons and coloring books, but I don't have any children who are the crayon and coloring books age anymore. Um, my girls still, they'll still draw, but they use like, like art pads. Um, I did find some doll clothes. They're very cute. I'm not getting rid of those. They're cute. But that leaves, and I, I have this, I have this idea that someday I'm going to sew. I have a sewing machine. I started to learn and then I got pregnant and that was 15 years ago and I haven't gotten back to it. But I'm thinking these drawers are empty. I might put our, our health, our health care things, our medications, can put the medication in there. We can put the ACE bandages, the Therma wraps, that kind of stuff that can go in here. Our oldest expired medicine. This is actually a really good um, nose drop. 
but oh my gosh, really, 2013? <laughs> that gives you an idea of how long it's been since I've sorted through this, but this was a packed full box that was actually overflowing, which I have turned into this. I don't know why we have so much hand sanitizer. This is like, I'm gonna have to, to text everybody in my family say nobody's allowed to buy hand sanitizer. We have plenty. So I'm just kind of, you know, just throwing our last stuff in here. Bottom drawer will be for beauty products. This is actually for if I wanna keratin my hair again. This stuff was pretty good actually. It's like do it yourself keratin at home. This is my old uh, makeup kit when I used to do acting and I carried, like this would be my, my kit, I wouldn't carry this with me, I'd have my, my makeup I wanted, but that I would choose from. Um, I haven't acted in a while, so a lot of this stuff, like these, this is expired. Uh, but the brushes, I can keep the brushes, this, this one's dirty, I'm going to throw that out. This one was never used. So I can actually use that to dust little things. Um, and I used to put stickers for how long things would last for when I should throw them out. So I can keep that, these are good. And I have some old makeup sponges and stuff. There's, they're fine, there's no point in throwing them out. And into the coat closet. All right, and there are my two nurse bags. So they'll be ready to go. They're not cluttering up my, my bedroom floor. I can just pick them up and go. Next step, all these clothes. All right, this thing was an impulse buy. I was going past one of my thrift shops that I don't usually go into and I went in, it was there. See, it's it, it's got like these like this sparkly stuff at, at the bottom. It's very artsy and bohemian. I would have to have a very artsy bohemian place to wear this, but I like it. I hung it up and now I'm rethinking. It was, it was uh, kind of blocking this bag over there. So I moved the bag here so I can grab it and that can stay on the floor because that will be fine there. I think I better think this out again. All right, this was touching the bag. So I've moved the bag to the floor, the bag will be fine on the floor. Um, but I've decided long things will be here uh, because we don't really open this. The short things will be here because we will open this. And I might do some more rearranging after it's all done, but for now, this is how it is. All right, so I've put my stuff back in the closet I don't know how much light this thing actually gives. Not much. Okay, so I have my, I have my my fake fur shrug. This really nice velvet black jacket. This kind of goes with anything slightly casual to dressy. I like to go out to dinner with friends. And this was a really great find. I got this at the Goodwill at the outlet where you pay by the pound. The buttons work fine. It doesn't have an odor. It's not rotting away <laughs> and it fits. Um, my puffy sleeveless vest. Everybody owns that. If you live in the suburbs, you're issued one of these. A windbreaker, a windbreaker that I used to wear back when I used to ride horses, but it was great. This thing I've never worn, and I'm going to, uh, because I have another longish, thin leather type jacket. This is not real leather, um, but it kind of has a look of it a little bit. But the other one I had doesn't quite fit. This one fits really well. I think I bought it, shoved it in the closet, thinking I'm going to wear it someday, and now I am because that's my only choice if I want to wear like a, like a like a black longish coat. I got this. I got this at, at Second Avenue. It's um, it's just your basic raincoat, but it's good for it's good for the colder weather. And this green thing I already discussed. 
this jacket, while very cute, simply didn't go with anything I was wearing. This is the jacket I was talking about that's just a little, it's very pretty, but it's just a little too tight. It's just a little too hard to, to put it on. And this, this cute little thing, it's, it's actually not a jacket at all. It's a shirt. I think this was secondhand, maybe from my aunt, but it's very, very cute. It doesn't fit me. Maybe it'll fit my daughters. So these are things that I will offer to my daughters when they come home from school if they want it because we're all kind of the same size now. <laughs>